are in Manilooking, New Jersey for week one of the water collection. I wanted to come to the East Coast for the surf trip because I feel like it takes a little bit more dedication on the East Coast. To find the good surf is a little bit harder and it just seemed like it was just the right place to start. We all take these dedicated paths that we, we think we're sure about and every day it's the smaller reminders of the people or the experience of riding out in the ocean or riding on a powder day or with your friends that give you faith and something to believe in constantly. They're like little energy boosts that sort of help you get through it. I think being a lifer is, you know, dedicating and sacrificing your life to a cause or something that you feel meets within your values and your perspective. In 2001, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, so I've tried to start an organization to give back to you know, people who might not have insurance and help them fight cancer if they had gotten it. You know, there was a point where I had to be in hospital for a month. I put the surfboard in the room and I looked at it every day and said, you know, I'm going to ride that board when I'm done, you know, I'm going to ride that board. So, you know, when I got out, I rode that board. You have to want to surf to be a surfer here. Just dealing with the con different conditions. It's always changing, it's windy a lot, it's cold. Most of our best days are when people don't want to be on the beach, you know, in the winter. So you, ha you have to want it a little bit more. To me, surfing has given me everything in my life and I don't plan to stop until I can't do it anymore. Being a lifer is total dedication. I mean, I wake up in the morning and I think about what I do most passionately and that's surfing. If I get any gratitude out of this, what I've done is to sell one board to one person and have them come back to me and say, hey, you changed my life in this little bit. If I got that out of it, I'm happy. The term lifer is just something that's probably in my DNA. I really wanted to express on foam what I wanted the board to feel like out in the ocean. It was an awesome first week in New Jersey and we're excited to head north next week and see what it takes to be a surfer in New York City.